Oh, more on the brother, man. More on the brother, I got a little confused there. I'm used to, well, don't worry about what I'm used to, it doesn't matter. In fact, you know, I'm used to a lot of things, come to think of it. Something I want to tell you, well, you see, I'm wearing my, I'll just show you. I'm wearing my Cape Coles. Your eyes won't believe your ears. Um, t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt. The logo was created by this guy uh, in Cape Town, Enzulisi Toro. But the slogan, I made it up myself, on the fly, as they say. Mm -hmm. Thinking about on the fly. You know, I'm thinking about Cape Coast. It's, it's called Cape Coast because it was created in, in the Western Cape now, in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, since we're in the Eastern Cape now, theoretically, because I left the Western Cape, I'm here now. Theoretically, I can create Cape codes right here. In fact, I'll tell you on the slide, don't tell anybody. I am going to do it sooner or later. But you see, the original Cape codes still exist in the Western Cape because I trained a bunch of people and they're carrying on with audio drama because Cape codes is an audio drama initiative. You know, I didn't know that word initiative until I got here and got involved with NGOs. In my life, I never knew that, but it's a big word, initiative. I sort of like that word, almost. A lot of eyes and stuff like that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Well, here's what I say about Cape Codes. So I started it there, and then it just sort of grew. It grew from just audio drama to become uh, a comic book. And also, we have a film component. So we, we, made, we made audio drama, which became a comic book, which became a film, you see? So it's very really interesting how it's sort of spread. No, I can't I can do that. But I left that. But the, as you see, let's call it the organism, the, the initiative. The organism, the initiative. Well, the initiative, which is an organism because it's alive. I mean, it's alive. It, it's just like any other initiative or organism. Or uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the current situation here in Africa, we have a thing called Ebola. Ebola is a virus. Mm. And I have this thing. There was a thing a long time, I got it from, I think, George Bernard Shaw, the playwright, also an audio dramatist. I know he's, a, to me, he's an audio dramatist. He said, uh, tradition is the enemy of progress. I'm quite sure he wasn't the one who originated that, but it was said. That's who I got it from. And I'm thinking, you know, Ebola up there in West Africa is ravaging several countries up there. It could spread. It's like, it's called the largest pandemic, whatever it is, in, in the world as the world has ever seen. I guess that makes it larger than the bubonic plague and all the rest of them other things. Mm -hmm. And uh, but when I think about it, it spread because uh, people have a tradition when they bury people when they, they when they do their traditional things, and because of their tradition, the tradition keeps it going. It, it, it makes it what we call it, exacerbates it exponentially. It, it grows because tradition helps it along. So I'm thinking, ooh, people should think about that. I'm not saying to give up your tradition, but tradition has to be, how do you say, have to evolve. Just like the Ebola virus, or viruses evolve all the time. Cape codes will evolve. Not because I did anything, but because it's out there and it's going to evolve. People will pick it up and they'll evolve with it. So I don't, I don't, I, don't, I mean, it's a, it's a sad situation because you got Ebola, keep on evolving. But I think people need to look at their traditions, not give up the tradition, but you have to evolve your tradition just like the world continues to evolve. The human species continues to evolve. Whether you believe in evolution or not is not the question. The thing is, the, the viruses and the germs or whatever, they don't care nothing about no evolution, creation, or whatever it is, they evolve it. And we have to continue to evolve too. That's, just me speaking up. It's one of those dispatches from the arts director emeritus. That would be me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to the bed, letting you know what I always suspect. Mm -hmm.